Managing external references is an important part of top-down design, and Creo Parametric provides you with many tools for doing that. One of them is the Reference Creation Control dialog box. And there are a couple of different ways of getting to this dialog box. You can go to File, Prepare, Model Properties, and in this dialog box, you can scroll down. There's a line that says Reference and Backup. If you click the blue Change hyperlink, that'll open up the dialog box. And I'm gonna cancel out of here for a second just to show you that this Model Properties dialog box is very important. It gives you a lot of great functions. For example, you have materials and units. You can access your relations and parameters. And like I mentioned, that reference creation control dialog box. There's so much good stuff in here. I recommend that you place the icon for this in the quick access toolbar so you can get to it quickly and easily. Another way of getting to the reference creation control dialog box is right clicking on an object in the model tree and choosing references, reference control. And in essence, there are five different things that you can control in here. Uh, but before I take a look at that, I wanna show you the difference between applying settings for a model versus a component. So right now we have this set to model and what this means is it's going to apply the settings to all occurrences of this model in my session. Uh, but if I have multiple instances of a component, so for example, you can see that the push rod cover lower appears four times right here in the model tree. If I only wanted to apply these settings to particular instances of the component in this assembly, I could use this drop down list to change that. You'll notice when I'm applying settings only to components, most of this is grayed out. I can control my external components permitted for reference creation and geometry available for reference selection by other models. The rest of it isn't available to me. And I haven't explained what those things mean yet, but I just wanted to let you know that from this drop down list over here, you can choose whether you are applying the settings to the model itself or to particular instances of a component in the assembly. So the first thing that you can control in here is external components permitted for reference creation. In other words, can this model make external references? And there are four different choices and the default choice is all components. In other words, this model can make external references to anything. The opposite end of the spectrum is choosing none. In other words, you're not going to allow this model to make any external references whatsoever. And depending on the nature of the component, you might want that setting. For example, fasteners or hardware or components that are used in multiple different products probably shouldn't have external references. And so for those particular parts or assemblies, you might want to set this to none. There are two other choices inside of here, which provide a little more restriction rather than all, which is sort of the Wild West. First is inside subassembly. So for example, if I take this engine assembly and place it in a higher level model, I am only allowed to make external references to other components in the same subassembly as the engine. I can't make external references to higher level assemblies or to parallel level assemblies. Another choice in here is skeleton and layout models. And so skeletons are very useful. You use them to consolidate geometry that affects multiple components. You can use them for laying out space claims, for defining lines of action or mating surfaces and interfaces. And so for certain situations, it might make sense for a component only to make external references to a skeleton model. So those are some different things to consider for the first setting, external components permitted for reference creation. In other words, can this model make external references? I'll come back to placement references and feature references in a couple minutes, but I want to mention the other two settings first. So external components permitted for reference creation controls the ability of this model to make external references. 
geometry available for reference selection by other models, that one is set to all geometry. And what that controls is, can other models make external references to this model? And if I go to the drop down list, the default is all geometry. In other words, other models can make external references to the engine assembly. The other choices in here are none. For example, maybe I don't want anyone to make external references to this particular model, or you could set it to published geometry. In other words, someone can only make external references to a published geometry feature. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the active model from the engine subassembly to this other subassembly, and let's say I change this to publish geometry uh, or none. You'll notice that the include submodels box becomes available for selection. So if you change from all geometry to one of the more restrictive settings, you can check this in, uh, in order to apply this same setting to the models inside of this subassembly. And one thing that I forgot to mention, uh, when you change the setting for external components permitted for reference creation to one of the other options, for example, if I change this to inside subassembly, we get this checkbox here, allow exceptions with confirmation. What this means is if I try to violate the rule that I've set here, where I'm trying to make an external reference maybe outside of the subassembly or to something other than the skeleton model. With this box checked, I'll get a warning dialog box where Creo Parametric will basically ask me, hey, are you sure you wanna do this? You're about to violate one of your settings. And if you say yes, it will allow you to violate the setting here where we're limiting what external references can be made. Okay. The fifth setting in this dialog box, allowed references when placing this model. So in other words, if I'm assembling the crankcase, I'm allowed to assemble it to any geometry whatsoever. And there are two other choices in here, and I'm not really big fans of either. One of them is that you could use interfaces only for placing the model. Uh, and so in component interfaces, they don't quite work as well as I would like. They have some problems with uh, getting the right surface normal direction uh, with mate constraints, uh, coincident constraints. So um, not, that's what, the only reason why I wouldn't recommend using interfaces only. And default placement, I really don't like this option here. This only allows you to locate it using the default constraint. And the problem is when you select this, there's no warning that tells you when you're trying to assemble the component that the default placement is the only allowed constraint. You'll be clicking on the screen wondering, why the heck can't I define constraints for locating this component? And it's because it's set to default placement only. All right, so, so far I've talked about external components permitted for reference creation. In other words, can this model make external references? Geometry available for reference selection by other models. In other words, can other models make external references to what I have selected and allowed references when placing this model? These other two options here are for what's called backup control. And so we have placement references can be backed up and feature references can be backed up. To show you what placement references pertains to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel out of that dialog box and select one of my components here in the model. And I can right click on it and choose references, backup references. And when I expand the node in the model tree, here I have the placement folder. What that did is it ended up adding a copied references folder here where it backs up the geometry that is used to locate this component in the model. And it's a way of making the model more stable, but I don't really see this as something that you actually need to do. And so if you have any of these different copied references for placement backup, uh, you can go to the operations drop down menu and choose references and remove all backups. And that'll end up getting rid of that copied placement folder in the model tree. 
Okay, next up, let's take a look at the last choice in here, and I'm just going to go to references, reference control, and there are feature references to back up. And the easiest way for me to show you that is I'm going to create a component in this assembly and design it with direct or external references, which you really shouldn't do, but it'll help me explain what feature references for backup are. All right, to do that, I'm going to create a component and I'll just leave the default name and I'll use my start part. Let's click OK and default constraint. So here it is in the model. And what I'm going to do is access the reference control settings for this model and feature references to back up. If I have any non-permitted components for reference, it'll create backup references to them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, references to other models, any references to other models, create a backup feature in there. So with that selected, Let's activate this part that I just created. I'm just going to build a simple feature in here with direct external references to other models, which you shouldn't do, to show you what happens when feature references are backed up. I know this gets a little heady, but please bear with me. All right, I'm going to create a sketch on this surface over here. Hit the middle mouse button again to sketch mode. And I'm just going to sketch a circle. That's good enough. Let's hit the check mark to get out of sketch mode. And now I'm going to extrude this. And when I extrude this feature, I can right click on the depth drag handle to change to to selected. I'm going to pick a surface from another model. So I've made external references to two different parts here. One external reference for the sketch plane for my feature and the other external reference for the depth of the feature. And when I hit the check mark to create the extrude, I'm going to expand the nodes in the model tree. And what you can see here is that I have these geometry backup features that are created. And that's the result of having, oops, let me go and access my reference creation control dialog box. Let me go to my First, I need to activate my top level assembly. Okay, and now go back to references, reference control. The reason I got those geometry backup features is because this feature references to backup is set to references to other models. I recognize that what I just went through is a little confusing. It's more of an advanced topic for top-down design, but it's something that you definitely want to be aware of the more that you do top-down design and need to manage external references because external references can get you into trouble with things like circular references or long retrieval or regeneration time and just problems like, again, regeneration failure, circular references. All right. Let me cancel out of here. There are other ways of managing external references, which will be covered in other videos. So for example, if you go to File Options, in the Creole Parametric Options dialog box, you can go to Assembly. And here you have settings that you can apply for your session for external components permitted for reference creation, and your placement references to back up, feature references to back up, geometry available for reference selection by other models and allowed references when placing this model. In other words, the same sort of controls that we can apply to models and components, you can apply to your Creo Parametric session. And oops, didn't mean to get out of there. Uh, also from here, if you go to File Options Configuration Editor, you can use configuration options for controlling the same thing. And by the way, if you have different settings in configuration options versus your session settings versus your model settings, Creo Parametric is going to use the most restrictive setting out of those three 
in case of conflicts. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are created. Thank you.